In this video, a sneak peek from the newly relaunched Adjuster Talk podcast, Royal Adjusting Services owner tells the story about getting fired by pilot. Starting now. You're watching Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by the National Association of Catastrophe Adjusters. Joining NACA will provide you with the resources you need to build a lasting career as a claims professional at adjustertv.com slash NACA. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at AdjusterTVPlus.com. Hey, Matt here, and welcome to Adjuster TV, where we help you build a rewarding career as an independent insurance adjuster so that you can help people during natural disasters and earn a great living doing it. In this clip, veteran adjuster and IA firm owner Jason Heenan tells the story of how Pilot decided to no longer use him, why it happened, and how he could have avoided it. You can watch the entire podcast for free right now at AdjusterTVPlus.com. For those who don't, we might not be familiar with blacklisted. Uh, basically, we're just saying that a firm saying, do not call this adjuster again. Do not give them any more work. We do not want to work with them. And carriers do this as well. Happens quite a bit in the catastrophe uh, situations with carriers. So, uh, Jason, if you are ready, I'm going to throw it to you and say, have you ever been blacklisted or fired by an IA firm? Or a yes. carrier, for that matter. Unfortunately, Chris, I have a story here to offer, um, and and it is my own personal story. I uh, will let's let's prelude the story with this and say, uh, at Royal Adjusting, there at from fourteen years of uh, being in business, we do not have an actual blacklist. Okay, now. Do we have a short list of adjusters that we will never use again? Absolutely, but it is short. And uh, the idea behind uh, forgiving anyone who has been uh, released or let go or their pending has been transferred, we always try to be, for, uh, to be forgiving. Everyone makes mistakes, myself definitely included. Um, and a little bit of training or a little bit of customer service uh, maybe an upgrade in equipment. You know, you have to remember uh, whenever you are working for IA firms, you are actually a service provider. And as a matter of fact, whenever we're sending out welcome emails and that type of stuff, Chris, uh, we say we want to have a sample of your service. So we want to try your service. Of course, we pay the good, you know, pay a good rate. We pay just like it, uh, we do on every claim. But just to remind everybody that you are representing your own line of business. You are a business uh, whenever you're an adjuster. You are, uh, and I, that's what I, we don't call them adjusters. We call them their claims business. Their pending is their claims business. All right. So back at it. Have I been fired? Absolutely. Um, worked for Pilot. I don't mind saying I was fired from Pilot in 2011 or 12. There was a monster hailstorm up in Prosper, and they had Prosper, Texas, huge houses, uh, steep cutoff roofs. Eagle View was a brand new thing, uh, so they still wanted you on the roof measuring, um, making sure you're uh, collecting all the data. You couldn't just uh, download a you know report in 24 hours. It was much different than Eagle Views were 80 bucks on the uh, big cutoff houses. So. Anyway, there was a change to the uh, all states guidelines, how they wanted to handle the HVAC claims, which is just their outside air conditioning unit that was hit by hail. And typically um, those outside AC units, the uh, condensing coils, you, your refrigerator has one. Uh, it looks like a radiator for those of you listening who don't know uh, what happens to the a AC unit outside is they get beat up pretty bad. Well, uh, there was a, a huge, huge claim on a house with four air conditioners, a very wealthy person. And uh, the old protocol was that um, you could get the big estimate. I had a $40,000 uh, 
estimate, you know, plus the roof, plus all these other things. So this, it was like a hundred thousand dollar claim. And you have to have respect. This was 2012. So, uh, there wasn't quite as much money in the economy. Um, you need to just, you know, uh, cancel out 10 years of inflation. And, uh, so what I did was I took this, the HVAC people met me on site. It was macked up the air conditioners. It was hot in this house. These were definitely rich and patient people. And, um, I just took that estimate and with my own, their HVAC estimate, and I sent it uh, for authority. Any claims over 50000 had to go to Allstate staff. And uh, so they put authority on it. I was able to issue the check uh, within 24 hours. And then when they came back to get their depreciation, which the independent adjuster typically doesn't deal with, uh, like four months later, they sent in the final invoice showing they got the air conditioner for place. And that's when it raises a red flag. And so I got a call from whoever was, uh, you know, super important at pilot at the time saying, Hey, you can't do this. And we're going to have to take you off the uh, storm for a while. Was it a big deal? No. Um, I was already working claims for Royal and that kind of stuff was not trying to do a poor job. I would say it was a miscommunication, but they said, Hey, you should have uh, seen the change in guidelines, meaning I missed part of orientation. So that was the mistake, Chris. I never went back and worked another pilot claim, but still have mad respect uh, for what pilot did for me as far as training and uh, where they, what, what point in my career they able to get me to. But I absolutely was blacklisted and fired. What should an adjuster do if an IA firm blacklists them, if they fire them, and how can they avoid that? Is their career over? Uh, and then how do they avoid it? Get these questions answered right now by watching the entire podcast for free at adjustertvplus.com. And thank you so much for watching. And have a great storm. Adjuster TV. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again?